Hey everybody, I want to do a quick intro to this video before the intro to the video. Uh, this hunt goes down as one of my most favorite hunts ever for two reasons. Uh, one of them is Chance came down to detect in San Diego for the first time from Los Angeles. Anytime someone makes a two hour drive, I really hope that they find something great. And he did. Uh, he found an amazing piece and all said and done at the wrap up, I was kind of guessing as to the material. Uh, it turns out it's 18 karat gold and it's just about 22 grams of 18 karat gold. So that's a great find. Uh, the second thing in the video that's that's important to me is, is I was able to find an item, locate the owner and return it. I do have the return at the end of the video, so stick around, enjoy. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Greg's Treasures. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, so I'm excited about tonight. If you've watched my videos before, you've seen Chance uh, is one of my detecting buddies up in Los Angeles when I'm up there for business. Um, I gave him a call and said, hey, I'm going out in San Diego for the third night in a row, kind of tired. Um, anyhow, you want to come on down and, and go out with me in San Diego because he's always talked about it. And he said yes. So he's going to be coming down tonight. It's a two hour drive each way. But you know, I've been at least pulling in some silver rings, which is better than nothing. So Chance is going to be joining me tonight in San Diego at La Jolla, and we'll see you on the first day. All right, Chance made the trek from Los Angeles. Hey, everyone. All right, so let's get out there and see what we can come up with. Got 25, 26 as I'm heading out to the wet sand. Tide is out pretty good, so we'll have lots of, uh, lots of wet sand to work tonight. All right, starting out with a dime. Better than a penny. Got a 30 quarter tone right as I step it onto the wet. And a quarter. Another quarter right next to that other one. Something seems big and shallow. It's interesting, who knows? Let's see what this thing is. It's bigger than that. Okay, that's a nickel. I think I got a huge coin spill. Yeah, coins everywhere. Six at least. I'll dig these up. If it's anything more than a coin, I'll turn the camera back. I just dug a target where I swore it was going to be a rusty nail. And I kick it out of the plug and I got an earring. And I don't, I don't know if it's any good, but oh well, jewelry. Sixteen, eighteen, somewhere in that window. Sounds pretty good. And that's why it sounded good. Look at that. I don't think it's precious, but man, that's cool looking. All right, let's get out of this, out of the waves. Whoa, that's super cool. It's a flex band, so it's not something special, but look at the spider on that thing. All right, I'll take that. This doesn't sound the best, but it's an 1112. That's uh rejecting half the time but we're in a deep little area here so we gotta do it I think I have it
Uh, it's a fisherman's bell. They hang these on their fishing poles so it lets them know if they get a bite. Okay, so Chance comes over to me and he's like, hey, is that Star David? I'm like, yeah, it looks like it. You know, we're looking at this thing and it looks pretty darn good. It, it, it's got a gold surround. It's it's two different pieces, maybe even three. The, the clasp just looks amazing. But we don't see any marks on it at this point. We probably will find some later. Anyway, so we're talking about 10 feet away. His hole is right there. And we're talking right here because I walked over to take a look at it. And, I, and then I... I said, well, find the chain. And then I start walking away and I'm like, well, here's a one, two, three target. It's kind of weak. So he digs the hole because I'm, I'm not going to take his chain. He needs the pair. Look at that gold chain that came out. And this thing is heavy. It's a nice one. So uh, Chet scored. Uh, 10 feet apart, got the chain and the pendant. Life is good. All right, Chance has an IOU to me. Where'd this target go <laughs> for that chain? Uh, and he, yeah, here we go. Here's a two, three, four target. Sounds just like his chain did. So he says, you take it. Okay, I'll take it. It's really weak but so was his chain signal. All right, let me get back. All right, well, uh, finally got it out of the hole and it looks to me like dog tags. Let's take a look. Yep, that's what they are. That's pretty cool. Well, I gave him a chain target. He gave me a chain target. We're even. <laughs> yeah, these are the real deal, too. No, this is a... Oh, yeah, these are the real deal. It's got the religion and all that stuff on them. See if I can't return those. Returning these will be worth more than gold to me. And you're probably not even looking at them. Anyway, cool. Really nice shallow 16. Which has now completely... Oh, no, it didn't disappear. It is a key earring. It is hooked into my scoop. I'll try and get this out of here. Yeah, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. I like it. Nice, solid quarter tone coming in at 29.30 yep quarter 13 14 15 shallow That is jewelry. Ooh, that looks really nice. Let me uh let me rinse this off. Let me get back to you. I gotta walk out to the water. Okay. Ignore the tear in my pants, but this thing is beautiful. And it's got a mark. And uh chance is about to have a look. I'll get back to you on it. All right, that last one is, uh, it's got a 925 on it, so it's silver. But here I have a 10, 11, 12. And I'm losing my voice. I've been 
it's windy and uh, the waves are loud and Chance and I have been talking back and forth all night <laughs> and keeping our distance so I'm losing my voice but bear with me that is back-to-back -back jewelry that looks like another silver ring silver toe ring Yep, another toe ring. Hopping around a little bit, but man, is that a strong signal. Mid 20s. Oh, I hit something. Oh, that's a heck of a fishing weight. <laughs> Big one. All right, tailgate wrap up. So Chance came down from LA, glad he did. He's glad he did, because he scored. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. It's it's definitely gold around that edge, probably silver otherwise. He'll, uh, he'll get back to me and tell me what those are. This thing is really heavy. I'm guessing 11 or 12 grams. Looking at it, uh, we'll check for marks, but I'm pretty confident this is 18K or better. Um, he got this beautiful earring, which is actually stamped 925. He's got this earring, no marks, and that. On my end, I got pretty good amount of quarters, which is nice. I got the dog tags, which I'm going to see if I can't return those. I got the silver toe ring, the silver bracelet. Um, looks like a brand name on there. I'll, I'll get a photo. You've probably already seen it before at this point in the video. A key earring, which I really like. And this, I gotta say, is one of my favorite rings I've ever found. I've found some incredible rings before, and this isn't even precious metal, but how cool is that? I really like it. Uh, and then this, this earring, which I'll take a look to see if it's silver. Uh, typical trash. Regardless, had a great time. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Quick research online, I was able to find the owner of these dog tags, and I messaged him, he got back to me, pretty excited, and... Um, so he's going to be calling me here shortly and we'll arrange to, to get him back to him. So, pretty exciting. All right, the dog tag owner is calling me. This is Greg. Hey, how you doing, Greg? This is uh, Dion. Hey, Dion, how you doing? Hey, everybody, I'm about to meet up with Dion to return his dog tags. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Here we go. All right, everybody, I just met up with Dion and returned his dog tags to him. And I, I asked him a few questions, and it's interesting because anytime I find something, I want to know how long ago he lost it and where he lost it. So it turns out it's uh, exactly where he lost it. Um, but how long ago was it? Uh, about two to three months ago. Which is unreal because this was up at the, <laughs> yeah. in the wet sand at the high tide mark. He had been swimming pretty deep uh, when yes. he lost them yes. two, three months ago. So it shows that the sand's kind of pushing in and out and not really taking it and moving it with the current, you know, up up the beach somewhere else. So it's exactly where he dropped it two, three months ago. So what's it mean to you to get these things back? Man, it means everything. You know, you, you had to earn these and weren't just given to you. So uh, out of everything I own, this is my most prized possession. And uh, I thought they were gone forever, so. That's that's cool. Everything. I'm so proud to get them <laughs> yeah, back to yeah. you. And uh, <laughs> hey, thanks for your services. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, watch Greg's treasures. Yeah, definitely, I sure will. Thank you. Right on.